All right, hi, in this video, we're gonna look at um, how to extract videos, transcriptions, and translations from YouTube and put them into uh, Elan and Seymour, which are two um, uh, linguistic-oriented uh, um, programs for doing linguistic analysis. Um, so first of all, you need, um, we're here in a YouTube channel, and preferably this this will be a YouTube channel to which you have access to, or videos that are yours. Um, um, yeah, so, any moment here I'm going to move around. Yeah, so it could be the case that you have consultants that um, prefer to do, or are doing, or there's material you have access to, they have done their transcriptions and translations in YouTube. So, um, first you're going to locate your video in your video list, and then in these three, um, uh, yeah, you're here in your account here, and you go, yeah, you go to your channel page, and you, um, on the side here, let's see, right, now, videos, yeah, and then you type up here the name of the video you want. All right, so to get the video, there's these little three dots over here, you're going to click on those, you're going to click download. And um, that opened up a new tab for some reason, but that's okay. All right, there's my video downloading down there. All right, so that video is downloading. Now we're going to click on it. We're going to go to... This is weird, it's opening these new tabs. It's kind of unusual. Okay, here we are. This is where we need to be. All right, so um, over here in the little bar on the side, we're going to scroll down to where it says transcriptions. It's really weird how it's opening these tabs, or these new windows, actually. All right, so here we've got a transcription in Quechua. That's the language of the video. And you can see we have two translations in here, Spanish and English. So that's all great. So let's start. We're going to go download the transcription first. It'll take you to the little page like this. You're going to go over to Actions and Download SRT. You can download other formats as well, but an SRT is kind of the most general format to work with. All right, now notice it downloaded it as captions.srt. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that because we're going to be downloading a lot of these just so we can help uh, keep track of them better. So I'm going to rename this to uh, Tayag, Tayaga Warmi, or something like that. Something that's related to the name of the video, right? And then Q for Quechua. All right, I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to go get the um, translations. Let's get the Spanish one. All right, same thing. Actions, download, SRT. I'm going to go ahead and rename that SRT. Name that. Tiagwarmi, ES. ES for Spanish. Okay. Close that. Close this tab as well. Let's go get now. Let's go get the English. Actions, download, SRT, rename it. EN, EN for English. Cool. All right, so here's all of our uh, files here, our transcription translation files. Now, what we're going to do now is go to Say More. It's over here. Say More is a pretty neat program. You should check it out. Um, so here I created a new session for the video. Now we're going to add files. I'm going to go to where I downloaded the video file. Here it is right here. I'm going to open that. All right, now I'm going to click on it here and click on Start Annotating. Now it says file conversion required. Basically, in order to annotate it, it needs a audio file to work with. So luckily, Seymour is pretty cool, and that will do this for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click this convert thing here, and that'll convert the, it'll take, create a audio file that it strips from the video. The video still has its audio, but now there's a nice little audio file here. Okay. So now to get the transcription in here, we need to import a file. Now, uh, Seymour, unfortunately, does not take SRT files, but it does take um, Audacity label files. So the simplest thing to do here is just to convert the SRT file to an Audacity label file. Yeah. 
I think it ought to be able to, but it is not something it currently supports. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, transcription file here, SRT. We're going to open it with a plain text editor, such as Notepad++, Notepad, WordPad, whatever. It just has to be a plain text editor. So let's go ahead and open it with Notepad++. Here we are, and it shows you typical SRT format. The numbers represent the segments, the time, and then there's the time code, and then the actual text. So we're going to highlight all this. We're going to copy it. Then we're going to go into this um, nice little spreadsheet here. This is uh, from the Audacity community, I guess. Someone created a handy little spreadsheet with these macros to, uh, to convert SRT format to Audacity label format. Um, there will be a link in the description of where to download this and for their credit as well, too, because this is a really nice thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and paste what we copied out of that SRT file into these columns here. Then I'm going to click the, see, they're all in here. Now I'm going to click the SRT button, and then here I have a whole bunch of stuff in Audacity label format. And it's already all highlighted. It's already all highlighted, too. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create a new uh, blank um, uh, text file. So here it all is in here. I'm going to save this as a uh, T. I'm going to save it as... I'll put Tayagwatami, Quechua, and put labs for labels. All right, and make sure you save the file type as a TXT. All right, we'll go ahead and save it in our downloads. That is saved in there. Now we can go to Save More. Here we are, and we're going to select Read an Audacity Label File, Get Started. Now notice that nothing shows up here. Even though we saved as a TXT file, for some reason it reads TXT files differently from right Audacity label files. We're just going to go ahead and select all files, and there it is right there. It's weird that it does that, but that's what it does. All right, so now you can see we have a transcription in here, all lined up nice and easy in our same word here. Um, now, unfortunately, you cannot do that with the translation. That won't let you import anything else, which is um, unfortunate. You can only export. At this point, you can't import anything else. So to do this, we have to open this up into a lawn now. So um, luckily, Samore kind of works with the lawn files. When you make this file, it created it as a lawn file. So we're going to open up this file in a lawn. You can just double click it. And here you can see what we've got going on. We've got two tiers. We've got a transcription tier and a phrase free translation tier. So Samore is handy because it kind of creates that tier structure for you. So what we're going to do now to import that. Um, Again, you can't import SRT files and do Elan, unfortunately. You can only import these things here. So the easiest thing to do in this case is to convert those SRT files into CSV files or comma-separated value files or tab-delineated whatever, you know, spreadsheet-type stuff. So we need to change our SRTs into, into uh, comma-separated value files. So how do we do that? Uh, ideally, you would have something like a Python script or R or something to, like, auto... You would set this up and it would like you could like bulk convert to a whole bunch of subtitles you download in this format, but I don't have that right now. I haven't got around to making that yet or finding one online. But so I just come here to this website here. Link is in the description, and it'll just convert files for you. So let's upload our start with our Spanish subtitle. Open it here. I have CSV selected. Click convert. And there it goes, downloaded right into my downloads folder. Right now, let's go ahead and do that again. Um, all right, CSV. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and import that now. So you see, here's our CSV file right here. I'm going to click open. Now, this is important. This is you're telling Elon how to read this CSV file. It has the CSV file is four columns. Uh, the first one, number, we don't really care about. So we're going to deselect it right here. So you say, ignore this column, don't read in this column. Column two, we're going to tell it these are the start time codes. We're going to select begin time. Column three are the end time codes. And column four is the annotation or the text. Now we're going to click OK. Now notice that instead of opening up a new, instead of putting it into our Elan file, it created its own separate Elan file with just this tier, no attached media or anything. You'll notice this very process in general is all very roundabout and not kind of idiosyncratic, but that's OK. All right, so we're just going to save this Elan file. 
We're going to close it. And now we have to go File, Merge Transcriptions. Basically what this does is it combines two Elan files and creates a third one. So our first source is going to be the main Elan file we have open now that already has the transcription in it. Our second source, we're going to choose that one that just has the translation and no media. I have it selected right here, srt.eaf. Um, now, don't, don't select this, append annotations. You would think you'd have to select it, but if you do that, it'll put in the segments, but without the text. Counterintuitive, but just leave it alone. All right, now we're going to create a destination file. And um, for this, I just like to go save it right on top of um, where... I have this current Elan thing, right? So I'm going to go into my, um, I'll show you where Samewar keeps its stuff. So basically you just go to your documents, uh, Samewar, just whatever you have your Samewar stuff in, the language you have, sessions. I'm going to go over to the session I created for this particular um, video. Right here, Tayaguanami. All right, there it is. Save. This file already exists. Do you want to override it? We're going to say yes. Now we're going to click Next. Over here, we're going to leave everything alone except for down here. We're going to check this box that says Merge Transcripts Without Overriding Existing Tiers. We're going to click Finish. It says we'd like to open this. We're going to say Yes. All right, and uh, here we are. We've got a transcription a, um, and our translation. I know that they're not quite aligned up. Seems like see, all this looks fine, but these first couple segments don't seem to be aligned quite well. And that could be because of the spreadsheet, or maybe when the translation was done in YouTube, they didn't. Uh, the first one was not um, segment wasn't linked up with the um, first transcription segment. So we can just go ahead and fix this real quick. Let's go ahead and delete this annotation. That says text. That comes from that was a creation of the uh, uh, CSV file. Let's go ahead and stretch this out here to match up to our transcription. All right, that looks good. And I think, yeah, it should have just been that one. Everything else is lo looks okay. Yeah, all right, this is fine. So let's close the original one, don't save it. Um, all right, now let's go get the English transcription. We're gonna do the same thing. Upload our English SRT to convert it to a CSV file. All right, there it is down there. Go back into Elan. We're going to import this um, the CSV file. Here's our English. Here's our English CSV. Open. Do the same thing. Ignore number. Column two is begin time. Column three is end time. Column four is the annotation. Click OK. Here's our separate Elan file to save this. Let's go ahead and save it in our downloads. All right, now we can close this. All right, same thing again. We're going to merge and do the merge transcriptions file, merge transcriptions. Uh, select the second source, English, select, de destination. We're going uh, to again save it on top of the um, one we already have here. Yes, next. Merge transcripts without overriding existing tiers. Finish. Okay, so now you see we've got a kind of a got everything in here, and the English one looks like it was better lined up than the Spanish one for some reason, but that's okay. Everything's all aligned. Now we kind of have a mess in tiers in here, and these two tiers that we imported from the CSVs are not connected or linked to the transcription tier. We want to we want to put them as children to that tier. So you would think that you could just go into your tiers and just change the parent of these two new tiers to um, the transcription tier, right? Unfortunately, you can't for whatever reason. See right here, it won't let me change the parent tier because of the tier type. And um, for some bizarre reason, that's how it works. So to get around this, what you got to do is we got to go up here to the tier menu and select copy tier. Then we're going to select the tier, the tier zero, that's the Spanish one. We're going to see how it says select a parent tier. We're going to choose transcription for the copy of this tier. We're going to click next. We're going to select this to set its stereotype to symbolic association. Don't worry about that. Just make sure it just gets selected. This will allow us to um, 
make the transcription tier. It's parent operation completed. Now we have this tier that's dependent on the transcription tier. Now let's do the same for the English. We're going to copy the English tier, which came in as tier one. I'm going to click next. Uh, set parent to transcription tier. Next. Uh, symbolic association. Sure. Finish. Operation completed. All right. So now we've got a big mess of tiers in here. So now we've got to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to go to the tier menu, go change tier attributes. First, we're just going to delete all these uh, extra tiers. So tier one, let's start with tier zero. Let's delete that. Remember, this is the original that we imported that we can't really change. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Same with tier one. All right. Now we're also going to delete the phrase free translation tier, and we're going to rename one of the translation tiers as the phrase free translation. It's important, this is important, to remember this exact spelling and wording of it, because that's how the same or will only notice this tier if it is named exactly that. So we're going to go here, select our Spanish tier here. We're going to change its name to phrase free translation. All right, and I'm going to change the input method while I'm here. I might as well do this, change the input method to US keyboard, just content language Spanish. All right. Change that there. Now let's change the English tier as well. Phrase free translation. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing here, English keyboard, and the content language is English. Oh, that's right, this name already exists. So I'm gonna make sure I specify English here change. All right, and then while I'm here, might as well change, set the language of the uh, transcription tier as well, which is Northern Pastaza Quichua. <clears throat> All right, cool beans. So now we have a really nice salon file here with our transcription and our translations all lined up, all as dependent tiers. So now you've got kind of something you can work with now. So let's go ahead and save this. And if we open this, now if we just jump over to, um, uh, yeah, don't save that. Now we jump over here to say more, you'll see, bam, there's our translation right in um, right where we want it. Now notice this is only our Spanish translation. Uh, uh, say more, unfortunately, only lets you see one translation, um, but that's okay. Uh, see what, we can export this as all kinds of things now, as including other subtitles. Well, uh, important the flex text there's a flex text and all of that and then um, if you want to see the third trend the second translation you can just open it up in as the Elon file and this is an opening sometimes it doesn't open very well if you're trying to open it within the same or let's give that another go there there we are okay um, options transcription mode Again, I can line this up all nicely, too, if we just transcription, translation, translation. Uh, then we'll move that tier, select tiers. Just change these to phrase for you. Apply, apply. There we go. Doesn't this look nice? Transcription, translation, and our other translation all lined up like peas in a pod. In a line here and here, we could edit our transcription and both of our translations all at the same time. All right, and that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Again, this is a very convoluted process, um, but now it's ready to be exported to like Flex, for example. Um, both Elan and Seymour can do that. It can port it into Flex Language Explorer if you want to do further analysis and break it down, morphemes and additional annotation, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, if you please leave any comments, Again, links to those uh, sources are in the description. Please leave any comments or questions, especially if you have any way to improve this uh, workflow. Uh, thanks. That's all.